Maar dan kunnen we het nieuwe show voor de Lady Eagles. Nou, we talked about Carlos, we talked about Morgan. Dat gaat niet meer. But you feel the middle is going to be important for you, P. Mela, why? Yes, because you know, through the years, the other teams have really been eyeing Tots and Isa. And it's frustrating uh, to see them na uh, struggle ng ganun because they lack, you know, uh, support Help. in their team. Yes. So I think it's about time that they activate their middles. And I think now, with their, with their good experience in their Japan training camp, they right. would have worked on their defense. They could activate the middle some more. And right away, Maiso Tamil wanted double to go contact. to Lori Bernardo, but she had double contact. Well, all I remember the goosebumps I had. Okay. Because, of course, yung school spirit nandone. That's a But this looks it's evident in the UP. Back to back errors there from Sotomil and now Mall the Middles in this early part of the set. At makikita natin yan while the so game goes on later. In the meantime, let's go back to Franny Reyes for more of the defending champions. Longa Mai Sotomil. And go to Bernardo, who showed a lot of promise, not only in the offseason as Maraginot goes for the cross court. Balde answers on the other side. Ball is still up. Balde will try again. Somebody touched the net, and I think it is the Cebuana who scraped it. So that is an Ateneo point. We could see Balde struggling there. In almost two years, healing from her injuries, her knee injuries, and all of that. Goes and she will return to serve because Ateneo is 5-1. And, one. I'm and um, although their passing is good, it's more on the attack errors. Speaking of attacks, that's the first one for Tots. Bumalik, Tekaloy. Bumalik ang bola sa UP. Mai will go and send it to the other side right away. Cat sees an opening. And it is 6-1 for the Lady Eagles. You can see the mid-air. Try to stay with the men's team in terms of the win today. But right now they're behind as Ravenna sends it back. Kita. Still, I think that set was too low for Bernardo. Two. But, you know, it's it's a good end check a couple of times. So they really need to activate their middles. Good serving by Maraginor in the meantime. As the score is 7-1. to one. Faith set back by Bernardo. Back to the rookie, hey, and she pounds the Mello. pavement. A multi-awarded high school player. She's won the MVP. She's won the finals MVP. She's won a championship repeatedly with National University. So she knows how it is to be under the bright lights. Correct. Na right. And you Where know, can't explain down. herself. Naman, na. she say, she stayed um, in college. Happy. And it's better to watch her side by side with fitness pairs, right? <laughs> you know, I think it's one of the things also that I think the Lady yeah, Eagles Valentino. fans want to see. It's like, at least give us that one year that you will play. And imagine also, Bella, the luxury that a fitness pairs comes in. Okay, you are a scorer for yeah. sure. You're an MVP. Oh, yes, I agree. High percentage. Meantime, the struggles continue. 9 2 is our score, unable to set. Or the lady or the fighting maroons okay, there. 10-2 now is the score as Jess Maramos. Leaving the UP squad guessing on who she's gonna set. There is a reason why I think Rep Kailing also is coming back here for the UP fighting maroons. And it is and as we saw Isa Molde, a lot of energy on that spike. A power tip. My faith Nisperos. 12-3, you know, I mean, imagine the team that she was a part of in high school. Yeah. Four-time champion, she was, you know, you mention the names, Joy Mika Grande. You have Micaela Belen, who was also an MVP. You have, of course, Ivy Laksin, who plays now with NU. Again, another uh, best blocker, uh, middle blocker of NU. Just imagine that collection of talent. For four years, they defended the title. She was part of that. So she comes into the college. Yes, it's a different game. We all yeah. know that the Perfect. pressure is different, the spotlight is different. Spotlight. But at least she's and used to being hunted. So to speak, right? <laughs> <diba? laughs> being scouted. Oh, as oh the captain the delivers the goods from the middle there. Three. Two of the biggest 
names ng middle blockers ng Ateneo. So I think we need comfortable people to play that job. As Laporte is in, their uh, beach volleyball uh, player is unable to get it above the net. P.E. got they are very energetic, but now their body language is really down in this set. Jaja to Joe. Denied by Rem Kailing. They're trying to inject some energy here. And so you need to anticipate and read the, the set and the attacks better. That's out. Two straight points for UP. The first time in a while. Because they decided to play out their eligibility as opposed to players who are returning because they left for a while. They right? announced that uh, they yeah. won't and then now or they're back. Oh, no. oh. So Kat Tolentino falls under that, mm -hmm. that uh, description. So basically, she's a reason. Yun naman ang uh, definition nila of returning. Carlos from the back row. Passport denied. By Jules Samonte. 16 to 6 is the score. We'll take a look at that block. A single block. And then we'll take a break. And we will be back here with more of Season 82 of the UAAP. Number 8 in digging. And the only UP player in the list to receiving. And number 4 in just a spiking. And I believe also as Dots there gets it up. Her and uh, Molde will show in this season the mga experience that they nila in the pro leagues also and all that training and all that experience and exposure as we are in the middle of another long rally. This us from behind. Thoughts? And that will be miscommunication between the players. So another point for the Lady Eagles, 17 to 6. And that's right. Service error. Service goes out from Bongai. Good time out there for Coach Gotti, you know. Um. The bridge between the rookies and the youngsters, the sophomores, and the seniors who have come back as... Boy, That's we have missed that players. flight of Joe Maraginon. She's always looked like a ballerina when she yeah. gets up there. Remember, you know, when she <laughs> was <laughs> coming... <laughs> Then Eliza graduated. She was supposed to be the one. That was the pressure on her. But unfortunately, yeah, also Gino. knee injuries hampered her last season. But despite that, she was still the sixth best scorer of the league. And what luxury also for her, Mela, that she comes back not having mm -hmm. load. And I don't think um, they are pressured well, right pressure. now. Oh, oh, because when you watch them, they look so, you know, light. You're right. And they've always been a great blocking team. They were the best last year, and Capto Lentino with a kill block there. Kitang kita. You know, that's the big question for the volleyball fans. With the departure of Madaya and Bedeleon, would they want she had a single block on Tots Carlos earlier? I don't think na for them it's a problem. It's more of the system right. ng blocking for Ateneo. Dadalin mo yung ganung. Mm -hmm. moment, negative momentum going into the, the second set. So, if you're UP, you got to keep fighting here that and try to build it. some sort of flow, especially on the offense. But First step is to play to their strengths, and that is, you know, basing it on last year, it was their dig. Diba? Kasi, um, there again, um, nag miss yung blockers dun sa atake ni Fitness Peros, but there should be someone on the floor ready for that ball. Uh, offense is not a problem for this Lady Eagles team. The blocking, it's still to be judged in the games to come, but just the name yeah. and how we're looking at them today. Offense is not a problem for this team. Tolentino. That will be... Yeah, Tolentino! Block out. out. So, check out. So that means Ateneo inching closer in earlier. They were in such a high. Nice play there for UP. Finally, a combination play for the UP Fighting Maroons. You know, they have to utilize Lisa when she's there in front because she does a lot of, you know, three and four na mga atake, just like the one we saw, and she angles it perfectly. So, they really need to set... Bernardo. And a ch chance ball. Free ball for UP. Rem, go behind. And it is Molde, back-to-back -back scores for Isa Molde. And the fans behind us from the UP side trying to cheer them up. 
again on point boom the combination play worked well in that past two points for at for up and like i mentioned you know isa molde ball when you make a streak you could still manage to get away with a with an upset he does a set what about that they do it defensively too as they provide a wall against Capitolino. four straight points an 11 point lead now for the lady eagles double block on the best opposite spiker. Good thing starting. Nando serves again. Faith. Good defense. Rozier was there to dig. Molde on the other side. Doromal. Ja to Faith. This time she puts hey, a little heat on that one. Us. Faith is. Name it. Pumatong si Molde and gets a point. Delays. Again, now, boom, they are finally playing to their strengths. And you uh, Remka Iling has, has provided a little bit of stability, Mela, ito sa UP fighting Maroons. But Ateneo Lady Eagles will not be denied here in the first set, especially after...